Well, guys, we have two weeks until Election Day. Now, early voting has started in a bunch of states out here in Texas. Yesterday was the big day. I was actually uh, me and my wife actually went and uh, voted. There was a little bit of a line, but it moved um, pretty uh, smoothly. Voting has already started, guys. And when it comes to these swing states, Trump is dominating. The Kamala campaign is in full free fall folks. This woman has no plan for you. Her plan basically is um, Joe Biden, Joe Biden's plan, which is already bad. And her plan is going to be even worse where she wants to implement Soviet style price controls, which is not going to work. Inflation is bad because of Kamala Harris. Remember, she was the tie breaking vote on the American Rescue Plan. That caused massive, massive inflation and it's still bad, guys. It is still bad despite what the media is saying. Oh, inflation's cooled down. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. The price is still going up. Your real wages are still going down. President Trump is the answer to the Democrats, guys. Go out there and execute. Now, I saw this this morning, guys, and I found this to be absolutely hilarious, folks. Kamala Harris is not running a real campaign. Anytime she speaks to the media, it is staged. Maybe the Fox News um, interview, that wasn't staged because Kamala Harris completely fell apart. But when she goes on with uh, friendly platforms, it's bad. Now, folks, she was actually hosting a town hall in Michigan. And by the way, guys, it's looking very, very bad for Kamala Harris in Michigan, guys. I mean, out of the uh, blue all states, that is supposedly uh, the most left leaning state. But those people up there have rejected Kamala Harris votes. It's bad. We'll get to the polling. okay? we will. But guys, she held a town hall, which really was not a town hall, folks. And Maria Shriver, Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, ex-wife, really did expose that, guys, because there was a woman in a crowd right before the quote unquote town hall was supposed to start. And she actually asked Maria Shriver, can we ask, can we ask questions? Maria Shriver shut her down and explain why. These questions that I guess were, that that I guess was, um, was uh, answered or asked, I should say, they were scripted. And Maria Shriver confirmed that folks, Kamala Harris is running a fake campaign. Everything about this woman is completely fake. And uh, before we actually get further, man, shout out to uh, Candace Owens because um, she had uh, Judge Joe Brown on her show. Highly recommend you guys go over to Candace Owens uh, channel and uh, check out that interview with uh, Judge Joe Brown, because we all know that Judge Joe Brown um, has come out and said Kamala Harris is not black. She's Indian and, um, and uh, Irish. And he doubled down on that again. So check it out. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this, guys. Right here. Kamala Harris town hall host Maria Shriver shuts down Michigan voter hoping to ask a question. We have some predetermined questions. So Kamala Harris wants your vote, but yet you're not allowed to actually ask her any questions. So why should I give my vote to someone that doesn't want to answer a question? Because if Kamala Harris goes off script, it's word salad and then people will um, reject her. They're already doing it, guys. But um, let's go ahead and watch this uh, clip here, guys. Let's roll it. We have some questions from the audience that we will get to. I have a few questions. As I said, I went around to meet several of you, and I heard some questions that some of you had. But universally, many of you said the reason I'm here is to see bipartisanship. I want to see what it looks like so I can go home with information. So you're going to get that, okay? So let's get going. Um, So sit back, be comfortable. 
You're not, unfortunately. We have some predetermined uh, questions, and I hopefully I'll be able to ask some of the questions that might be in your head. I hope so. Wow. You heard that right there, guys. You heard that right there. You cannot ask Kamala Harris any questions whatsoever. Uh, Maria Schreiber said she's going to do her best to um, ask questions that she thinks you want, you want answers to. Yeah. And when she actually mentioned um, bipartisanship, um, she was actually talking about uh, Liz Cheney, a so-called Republican being there with Kamala Harris. And Liz Cheney, man, is the biggest sellout of conservatives out there. Out of all of the people that are so-called Republicans that are supporting um, Kamala Harris, she is the worst. She's actually out there campaigning with Kamala Harris, who's made it very, very clear that she wants to butcher babies at will. And Liz Cheney has signed up for that. Liz Cheney, actually on video, guys, actually slamming Democrats years ago for wanting uh, abortion at will. Now she's signing up for it. Why? Because what's more important to Liz Cheney is protecting the establishment. That is why she is aligning herself with Kamala Harris, because the establishment can control Kamala Harris. Liz Cheney really does want you to suffer. And she wants more of your money to go to Ukraine. And I found something pretty baffling, guys, that um, these people, man, they want to send all your money over to Ukraine. It's kind of funny because um, the left they're saying we need a ceasefire now in Gaza, but yet they never say we need a ceasefire in Ukraine. Why is that? I'm curious about that. But anyway, guys, this is really, really pathetic, guys. Kamala Harris is not running a real campaign. She's not. And um, she's getting slammed for this, too, man. Uh, let's see here. This is on some of the comments here. And it says um, that's not a town hall. That's called a stage production. Yeah. One at Schuster Road arguing that the uh, Democratic coup nominee for president is incapable of off the cuff. Another one says here, and this is uh, Britt Hume from uh, Fox, says um, some town hall. Another at Schuster um, referred to the event, which was packed with uh, can lines and talking points as a prep answer show. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a, a pet rally. Read a different ex user's tweet. Yeah. Former Donald Trump White House aide uh, Chad yeah, Martin argued that when it comes to Harris, everything is scripted and nothing will change. Holy shit. They're not even hiding it anymore. Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung wrote on X, sharing a clip of Shriver. Yeah, it's all fake, man. It's all fake. And guys, it's getting worse, man. These polls now. Uh, seem to be a little bit more updated, guys. And boy, Trump is up 1.2 points in aggregate in the battlegrounds. This is super bad. And in um, Michigan, guys, it's getting extremely bad for Kamala Harris. Trump is up 1.2. At this point, Hillary was up 11. And remember, Hillary lost Michigan. Beijing Biden was up 7.8. And if I remember correctly, um, I believe he took um, he took Michigan by like two points. Yes. This means Trump is up big. He is up big. I mean, this is a disaster, folks, for Kamala Harris. It is. I mean, Georgia now. Georgia definitely seems like he's out of play. Right here, he says he's now up two and a half points in Georgia. Now, the polls in Georgia have actually been a bit closer to um, the results. But, man, this is bad, man. This is bad. Two and a half points. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much over it. That's over it. Nevada. Trump is up 0.7, almost a point in Nevada. 
And folks, here's the real bad thing, guys. This popular vote here. Let me get over here to it. It's now dropped to Kamala at point eight. Point eight. And Morning Compost is saying that Kamala Harris is up four. I mean, Morning Compost is horrible, man. Horrible. Rasmussen has um, Trump up three. Atlas Intel, the most accurate um, poster, has Trump up three in the popular vote. Yeah, this is looking really, really bad, folks. Really bad. And we got two weeks to go, man. And I don't believe Kamala Harris is going to stop. I mean, she's fake. She's fake. And shout out to Maria Shriver, man. Brad, she pointed out, you're not allowed to ask any questions. Everything has been staged. Yeah, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time.